In this video, I'll be showing you how I upgraded my Asus N56VJ's internal RAM and also stock hard drive. And of course, whenever you are working on the computer, you first remove the battery. And um, it's a pretty simple installation, and um, I'll just show you how to do it step by step. So first off, you got to pat the little plastic um, circle that they have covering the screws on the lower end of the laptop to expose the first screw that you need to remove. Um, here I just used a normal screwdriver. I didn't need a jewelry screwdriver to get screwdriver to get out any of these screws um, during this installation. Then you pry off the cover. Um, not too bad. Just stick your fingers in the slots, your fingernails in the slots, and it should pry right open like this. So here you can see first the RAM and also the hard drive. Um, first, I'm going to show you how to take out the RAM. <clears throat> You'll see it's in two layers. Just take out these two white clips on the sides and then it should pry upwards and you can just pull it right out. And I'll show you again here on the second stick. Just pull out the white clips, it'll pop up and then just pull it right out. Simple. And um, I'll be putting in my new Corsair 16 gigabyte um, RAM 8 a piece. And then um, same thing here, you just stick it in, it should go in most of the way and then as you push it downwards the clips will just stick right in. Just like that. So not too bad, you can see that took just about a minute to upgrade that RAM. Now I'll show you how to get the hard drive enclosure out. It's got four screws on each corner, um, three of the same length and one that's shorter. Um, we'll get out the first one here, and the second one, some of them can be a little hard to get out, you may want tweezers. Um, but fingers also work. Get out the third screw. If I can get it. And here the last screw. This one's a little shorter, so it's the same length as the first screw you pulled out to open the laptop. So now you have access to the enclosure, you can use the plastic end, plastic tab to just pull it right out, and it's quite simple. And the enclosure, um, the hard drive is enclosed within the enclosure with four screws, you can see them here. Um, pretty simple, again they're shorter screws than the rest that you've done, so you won't be able to mix these up with the others. Um, again, you don't need any jewelry screwdrivers for these, just a small a small head. One more to go. Okay, now that you have the last one out, you can take it apart. Take the hard drive right out, very simple, and then just put it back into its case. And then here I'm going to show you my M4 Crucial 256 gigabyte solid state drive. And when you place it back in, um, put it in that way, and also sort of lines with the screws. And um, now you just put the screws back in, somewhat tight, but not too tight. Um, just so that they can all line up in the end. Just get that last screw in there. Tighten up the rest if you need to. Pretty easy. Now you just stick it right back in the enclosure, put the opposite end first, just over the screw holes, and it should just slide right in like that. Okay, so the upgrade is finished. Now you just gotta replace all the screws. Um, but it's really not too bad. Put in this first one. And 
And then here you'll need the shorter screw, and you just um, put that one in also. You really gotta thank Asus for making this easy to install your RAM and also your hard drive. It's almost as if they expected you to upgrade it. It's the irony there. And then you're all done. Just put the cover back on, and then the last screw you can get in. Oops. Screw that on there. And put the plastic tab back on, and you're done. So there you go. That's a pretty simple RAM upgrade and also a solid state hard drive upgrade. And you can replace the battery, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching my video. Be sure to check out the other video in which I compare the solid state versus the stock hard drive.